We are FDNY. 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 We are FDNY. Welcome back to another episode of Join FDY Podcast. I am Captain Andrew Brown, and today we have a very special guest host, Vij Fajid. How you doing, really? I'm doing very well. Thanks for having me. So what do you, uh, what's your official title with the department? I work in the Office of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. I'm mm -hmm. one of the managers there. And our office works on many different projects and efforts, storytelling, Correct. working with affiliated organizations. We launched a campaign in June here at headquarters. Yeah. Uh, it's the We Are FDNY campaign. It's the signature storytelling campaign we have in the department. Started 2018 mm -hmm. and we launched the fourth edition of this campaign. It's a, it started as a poster campaign. All right. And now it is a multimedia campaign that showcases the stories of our members. Right. So Vij, you were there at the launch of the campaign. I was also in the audience, but I was just a, a mild participant that day, but you were at the launch, correct? Yeah, most of the members who were part of this campaign on the poster right. uh, were there, some with their families, some with their supervisors. Uh, it was uh, one of the most amazing uh, project launches I've seen in the department. Uh, people felt um, seen, celebrated. Yes. Uh, and I think that's, you know, we do that a lot in this department, but I think it's, it's, uh, it's never enough. So it was for me, uh, just I've spent the last six months uh, traveling across mm -hmm. the city, interviewing 24 people wow. and yeah. who are part of the department and to have them come together, finally see this beautiful poster and video right. uh, with their families and uh, team members. It was it was really uh, yeah, the energy in the building for the breakfast was very evident. Like you step in there, you just feel like something special is going on. Like we're on the precipice of something very incredible. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's you know, we channel all of that. In, and really, it's the members, you know, we're on the poster Correct. who made that happen. Uh, so yeah, it was it was really special. All right, you know, we recorded a couple of conversations you had. We sure did. We are going to be talking to our own uh, Dr. Kwame Cooper, who is the Chief Inclusion and Diversity Officer here at uh, FDNY. Yeah, I spoke to him here on a couple on our podcast interview uh, a few times. And uh, he's a very, very, he, he has a full life experience on top of the work experience he has like his his uh his resume is very deep very deep so yep. let's hear what he has to say yep what does we are fdny campaign mean to you and what does it mean to the department personally to me it's a celebration of the ways in which we are different but the ways in which we're very much the same and so what i mean by that is when we could bring together all the different ethnic groups, racial groups, religious groups, uh, people that have different beliefs, practices, values, bring them together into an organization and celebrate the value of it, that isn't normal. And so what we are doing in the FDNY, we're, we're showing the fire service, number one, what's possible, and also what we see as a value that will continue both in how we celebrate and how we hire and promote our personnel. One of the things about this poster is that in a very intentional way, it was designed to represent members from the uh, FDNY throughout the department. And when someone from HR looks at the poster and they see someone from HR that is a reflection of the work in HR, it inspires them. When an EMT sees an EMT on a poster or a, a fire prevention inspector or a firefighter, that inspires them. It's a reflection of them and it's embodied in what you see on a poster. And it absolutely makes a difference, not just in the firehouse. It makes a difference throughout the city. This campaign is citywide, probably social media, international wide. But it also serves as a recruitment tool where individuals see themselves by virtue of their race, gender, religion, and it just helps us with regard to recruitment. So I'm, I'm very excited about it. It's awesome. 
he is an incredible leader with 30 plus years of experience in fire mm -hmm. service, uh, retired as a chief and then gets a PhD in organizational psychology. He's an incredible leader, very thoughtful. Um, and, you know, we've, we've been blessed with his leadership and uh, being being very purposeful and mindful on all the efforts. And really, as he as he said, you know, this is really a celebration of members of this department mm -hmm. uh, who uh, put in their put in their best and more than 100 percent every day. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's 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 really that's and it was a wonderful celebratory day. And yes, he did not see the poster until he's like, I don't want to see it. Mm -hmm. So I think, yeah, that's, you know, that surprise moment to see the poster, the video, the people in the room who are on the poster just he, made it very special. He really likes staying in the moment. So he'll 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 create situations where he has to stay in the moment. And I guess that comes with experience on this planet, right? You, yes. you, you learn and pick up a couple of things. And Dr. Kwame Cooper definitely has the essence of the excellence that FDNY is always pursuing at all levels. So who else do we speak to? Yeah, so this is uh, Donovan Etienne. He is in uh, fleet services in Long mm -hmm. Island City. Uh, he's an auto service mechanic and, you know, he was, uh, you know, he's also just brings in a very unique story into the department. Uh, and he was there for the launch, super uh, excited. And he actually brought in his, his current supervisor came and his prior former supervisor also wanted to come in wow. because he was so proud of Donovan, mm -hmm. just, you know, his journey. Uh, so, yeah, that was really special to have them uh, there uh, at the launch. All right, let's hear what Donovan has to say. Fleet service is about fixing the trucks, the ambulances, and um, we do have uh, maintenance over there. Um, we do a bit of everything at the shop. You call me off a guard, I'm very nervous. Well, you're no, not at all. I mean, your work is critical. I know EMS Fire rely on you. So, maybe talk a little bit about, you know, your your work and I know you talked about COVID a little bit and we just talk about how critical your work is for fire and EMS. We keep the rigs in service, the fire trucks, ambulances, keep them in service, not out of service. You have a really cool story, a very inspiring, memorable moment. Can you talk about that very memorable moment? Last year I was working in um, the city for uh, Times Square, the ball drop, being a mechanic. And then I had my jacket on, my fleet services jacket, and a kid walked up to me and said, can I take a picture with you? I said, I'm not a fire, a fire, um, firefighter. And he said, I know, it says fleet services, it means you fix the trucks and stuff like that. You're just important as they are. And so, so I took a picture with him. I got chat. Up to this day, I still smile when I tell a story. Hey, Donovan's not, not lying at all. Very important job. But I see everyone that you speak to have that important piece. Like without one of these pieces, like FDNY doesn't really stand as strong as we're supposed to, as everyone looks at us. Absolutely right. We we all see fire trucks, mm -hmm. ambulances every day. But you know, there's people behind the scenes who are making sure they're running, you know, they're maintained. Mm -hmm. um, and that's where fleet services come in. You know, it just, it's amazing. I mean, I've been there a few times, it's a big facility, yeah, uh, almost facility. like a football field yeah. uh, in Long Island City. Uh, and yeah, I mean, uh, from mechanics to plumbers, electricians, I mean, they do critical work. And uh, that's another reason, you know, I just love the fact that, you know, I can, as part of this campaign, travel mm -hmm. to all these different locations, meet everybody from all these different units, and just kind of, you know, let them have their moment. And as as you see, you know, he's uh, with his, with his uh, supervisor and, and just such a powerful story. Right. Uh, we're a little kid, you know, he the kid knows the difference between firefighters, yeah. EMS personnel, somebody who works yeah. Police service who's a mechanic and I think that speaks to the power of just the amazing stories it's we so have. It's so funny how the younger generation and the kids will sometimes remind you how important you are. Yes. It's not necessarily what you're seeing and how you're looking about in the world like all right well this person got this yacht and doing this this person doing this and meanwhile the kids looking at you like I'm not comparing I'm looking at you like you're inspiring me so that was a, that was a very cool story to see. Yeah kids are very perceptive and wise and I think sometimes you don't give them enough credit. They are always watching yeah. so whether you're doing good or bad yeah. they're always watching they are so they're a good mirror 100 percent, 100 percent. so who do we speak to next well this is yelena cordova and i've known yelena well i've been here only two and a half years a little under two and a half years in the department I've, it feels like a, a, lot, a lot longer in a good way yeah, absolutely. Uh, and i've known yelena from day one 
Uh, she's now a, a senior director in uh, mm -hmm. Bureau of uh, Human Resources. Uh, she has a fascinating story as well. She originally is from Ukraine, has been in the department for many years. Yeah. Uh, so this was, yeah, this was another wonderful opportunity to sort of speak to her and capture her story. Excellent. All right. So let's see what Yelena has to say. Absolutely. Yelena, talk about what does we are FDNY mean to you when you hear that word? You know, it's a very personal and at the same time very important question because uh, being a refugee from another country who came in in the United States um, 24 years ago, um, the uh, FDNY is, uh, gives me feels of the family here. So uh, it's not just a word when people say that FDNY has a strong family uh, unit or connection, like commitment, I would say. Uh, this is something that I feel personal. Can you talk about your superpower that you bring to work every day? Um, my superpower wouldn't be power without the team who actually works with the entire department here. My staff who covers all the benefits and uh, belief unit for all the members of the FDNY, civilian, EMS, fire. Um, I find it very amazing to recognize people, to see faces, to come, be recognized and be acknowledged as a not front responder, so first responder. Um, so I think it's very valuable. I tell you, Elena, speaking about her staff and one of the signs of a good leader, that anything positive you're going to say, it's always about the team. And any kind of hiccups happen, the leader takes the brunt of it. I'm like, no, I'll take care of it. That was on me. That's very, Yelena is just a born leader. She is, yeah. Um, and, you know, you meet her and she doesn't sort of exude this, like, I'm the boss, you know. Um, she mm -hmm. has sort of this humble presence. And, you know, as you as you hear her say, I mean, she gives credit to her team. So, yeah, it's, a, you know, another incredible story. Um, refugee and coming here and uh, making a home here in the U.S. and in our in our FDNY family and, you know, making it stronger. Yeah, absolutely. Like most of us, you know, you go back far enough, all of our stories, we all came. Like I born in Jamaica and then came over, became a citizen and joined FDNY. And the story continues, apparently. Absolutely. Absolutely. So who do we speak to next? Yeah, this is firefighter uh, Nicholas Welch, uh, mm -hmm. Ladder 123. Uh, first uh, firefighter in the family and very proud and he was there at the launch with his family as well his wife and his uh, his kid you know what i can't wait to hear let's take a look what we are fdny means is that uh we are a bunch of different individuals with a bunch of different uh skills and tasks and when we all come together as one when the alarm goes off we get together and get the job done to make someone's day better and i have definitely worked with a couple of people on this poster I've worked EMS with uh, Captain Latoya Rock, Lieutenant uh, Knessa DeGuid. Uh, I've worked in Engine 234 with Lieutenant Abdelaziz, and that the, all those with uh, those was great EMS partners. Uh, Abdelaziz was a great EMS lieutenant, and uh, it's great to walk in here and see that I'm sharing this moment with people that I actually worked with in the past. Can you share one of your most memorable moments while you've been at the uh, FDNY? Uh, one of my most memorable moments in the FDNY is uh, graduating from Proby School. Um, my history is I always wanted to become a New York City firefighter. And I followed my path from young. Once I graduated from high school, I was in FDNY EMS. Before FDNY EMS, I was FDNY Explorer. Then I did FDNY EMS, and then I took the promotional exam to become a New York City firefighter. So uh, that's probably my most memorable moment is to knowing that I have accomplished my dream, walking across the stage at Proby School graduation, saying that I did it. And I will also say to others, don't give up. Anything's possible. I tell you, firefighter Welsh boy, you talk about having, keeping the main thing the main thing. He always wanted to be a firefighter and went through our Explorer program, went through EMS, and then he came across the stage, like you said, one of his proudest moments. And as we were speaking about how the kids are always watching, as he's talking, having his son in his arms, that, is, that, was, that was very positive and incredible to see. Yeah, and it's also incredible to see, you know, he, he mentioned 
knowing some of the people who are part of this poster and they yeah. didn't know each other they didn't know they were you know they were nominated in this process but that was another beautiful connection to see that hey i worked with some of these people and it, actually there were a few other people as well who were like oh yeah i know this person oh, i know this person. we work together so yeah it's just kind of great to see that those all those sort of connections that sometimes you know if you're seeing this poster it might not be obvious to you but we're all connected it's just our work you know we work with each other currently you know we might be working indirectly directly so yeah that was that was another beautiful moment to uh, to see you know how 17,000 plus members come and make uh, the work we do happen every day so who do we speak to next? We have Deputy Chief Chanel Thomas from Fire Prevention. Yes. Um, we met in, uh, you know, Fire Prevention, they're all over the city. And so we actually met the chief in uh, headquarters and she has an amazing story as well. I'm telling you, Fire Prevention, they're keeping the lights on. Absolutely. For yes. all the firehouses, plus this building. Yes. Let's hear what Chanel has to say. What's your one superpower that you bring to work? My superpower, elasticity. I can be everywhere and anywhere at all at once, you know, so yes, we do a lot and people are not aware of all the things we do. It may seem like one task, but it's actually many little things coming together to make one action complete and full. I remember your, I asked you about your most memorable moments and that had to do with COVID. It's a really powerful memory. Can you share that again, like your most memorable moment? Yes, during COVID. It was definitely one of the reasons that I actually brought home. We are FDNY, we are a family, we are one. Because, you know, the city was shut down in some way, but as first responders, we're there front line, helping the communities in any little way we can. Even just like giving out the masks, the hand sanitizers, giving information out to the public to help them promote, be safe, be careful, you know, we'll be back and whole again. So the fact that we were able to be there, front line helping the community know that the fire department is still here, we do care, and we wanna keep you guys safe during these times. It was an amazing experience. Chanel hit the nail on the head as far as how we're just all together and, and we're, it's always speaking about family that we are FDNY. It's always like, it's like our own little community within the city. Yeah, and you know, again, uh, fire prevention, um, you know, they are on the front lines making mm -hmm. sure, uh, you know, we're following all the codes, keeping everybody safe, uh, preventing fires from happening and emergency from happening. Uh, yes, it's, it's just so many different pieces that come together to uh, keep the city as safe as possible. Yeah, I love how she was talking about her superpower being elasticity. Oh, and I yes. was like, you know what? As I thought about it when she said it, I was like, yeah, no, there's always juggling. There's yeah. always, whether you're a good juggler or not, you're going to learn definitely working with FD. And because you want to be the best at everything that's coming across your desk that you're tasked to do. So you do have to kind of learn how to balance it all, whether it be juggling all together at the same time or understanding, okay, one, two, then three. Yeah, elasticity is a great superpower. Great superpower. I'm tell you, all those interviews and listening to the individual speak and how it really is defined, the we are FDNY, different individuals that has different roles within the job. And you can see it's all important. There's no one less or more than the other because without this piece, the engine doesn't run. Absolutely, yeah, there's so many more stories. We have 24 on this poster. Mm -hmm. There's a QR code on the poster. You can scan that and uh, see all the 24 interviews. And we have so many more members. So more, more uh, posters to come, more campaigns to come. Absolutely, look forward to it. Listen, Brother Viz, thank you very much thank for stopping you. by. You're Pleasure's welcome mine. as many times as you want. Thank you. And we'll continue the conversation. Absolutely. All right, that's another episode of Join the FDY Podcast. We'll speak to everyone soon.